Hello everyone, welcome. When we start DaVinci Resolve, the first window we see is the project manager, a centralized place for managing the projects and folders. Unlike other video editors that use the file system for organizing projects, DaVinci Resolve uses databases to store project files and settings, and rely on this project manager for most of the project administrative work. At the top of the project manager, there are a few buttons to control the project views. By default the projects are displayed in thumbnails, we can use the zoom slider to adjust the size of the thumbnails. The sort option changes the sort order. Clicking the information button can toggle the display of additional project information on and off underneath the project's thumbnail. In the list view, the projects are shown as a list with columns, Clicking any column header will sort the list by that column, clicking the header a second time will toggle the column between ascending and descending order. The last search button allows us to find projects by the chosen criteria, in the case of too many projects residing in the same folder. In the project manager, we can create new projects, rename or delete existing projects. Most of the project management commands can be found in the pop-up menu when we right-click the project or the background. Similar to a system file manager, we can create folders to organize the projects. Click the new folder button or choose new folder in the context menu, enter the folder name. We can drag a project onto the folder icon and drop it to move the project into the folder. To navigate between folders and subfolders, click the folder in the folder path view at the top left of the project manager. If we need to move a project out of a folder, select the project and right click the selection, select cut from the menu. Then go to the new folder, right click and choose paste. To delete a folder, right-click and choose Delete from the context menu. To open an existing project, simply double-click a project icon. After a project is open, we can reopen the project manager by clicking the Home button in the page navigation bar, choose Project Manager in the File menu or press the keyboard shortcut Shift-1. Please note that the currently open project cannot be deleted or moved. As mentioned earlier, DaVinci Resolve organizes projects in databases. Click this button at the upper left to open the database sidebar, where we can find all the databases created and used by DaVinci Resolve. By default it creates a disk database called Local Database, like the one here that I use for my other videos. These buttons at the top allow us to back up and restore databases. Sort the list or toggle the database detail on and off. The detail shows the status and database location. Not sure if we will ever need this search function, but it's there ready for use. If we want to locate the database folder in the file system, we can right-click the database and select Open File Location. It will open the folder of the database in a File Manager window, where we can find the files of projects and settings inside. I created a new database called Essential Video specifically for the projects of this channel. And this time, I will create another one for my DaVinci Resolve Get Started series. Click the New Database button, enter the name. Browse the location where we want to keep the database files. Click the Create button. In just a few seconds, the new database is created and appears in the database sidebar. Right-click the new database, choose Load Image. We can add DaVinci Resolve logo, as the image thumbnail representing the Get Started database. 
If a database is no longer active and required, we can simply right-click and choose Disconnect. Or if a database was disconnected by mistake, we can click the Connect Database button to reconnect the database directory. Since we don't need to manage the databases very often, we will close the sidebar after the database is created and selected as current. Now we have a new disk database created and selected as the current database, it's time to create our first project of the Get Started series. Click New Project button, Name the project, Get Started 01-Project Management. Click Create button to complete the creation of the new project. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.